become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's gotta have. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is three years his senior. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 9 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Donetsk, Ukraine, presenting the challenger, Nikita Al Capone. Fire! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are... He's hurt bad. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the film. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Checks the leg kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad.
Oh, he got the hold of the target very quickly. Oh, nice counter right hand. Oh, straight right. Nice hook lands. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. All right, single collar tie now. Muay Thai plum. He lands a big knee to the body. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Lands the double jab. So 35 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And he landed the right hand there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Effective punch there by Adesanya. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh! Side control now. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, Continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your point. Oh, just misses with the kick. Right on the button. Well, you oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh, oh, nice knee. big knee. Oh! Final seconds of round one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice one-two there. Whoa! Dude's hurt. 
serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Nice. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant...